What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is an installation video for Microsoft R server. Um, okay, first you have to download uh, Microsoft uh, Open R or something like that. Okay, and then Explorer. This is the URL. And copy paste. And this is where you download it. Microsoft R Open 3.2.2 for Revolution R Enterprise. And just click on that, and it's actually pretty small. Then, other than that, uh, oh, go to Dream Spark. Oh, by the way, this is a prerequisite that has to be installed before uh, install R Server. So. Go to student if you're a student and register so that you can download all kinds of software. You can click on software catalog. Scroll down until you see Microsoft R server. And you gotta sign in though and have it verified with uh, your school account that you know email account that ends with edu. Then I'm using uh, Windows, so click on Windows 64, then click on download. That's how you get your stuff. I already have um, mine downloaded, two of them, MRO and the uh, Windows uh, Microsoft R server. So that's how you download them. Okay, let's do this first. Uh, install the RMO, I mean MRO. Okay, let's install it. Okay, it's extracting the files. It's successfully installed. Wow, that was quick. Okay, let's see if it's actually working. Uh, uh, it looks like it's working. Okay. Nope. Well, it installed very quickly. Then go to the R server. Then click on. Okay. I like to see the actual extension. It's just my personal preference. Uh, Oh well. So we'll click on that. Okay, prerequisite installs next and install this prerequisite. Oh you have to have an internet connection though, I think. It's taking a while. Come on. Okay, my patience is running out. I think, okay, all right, agree, install. Okay, in case you're wondering what this thing called R is, uh, it's a quantitative analysis server, uh, well, software, kind of like SAS. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have used things like SPSS, uh, Jump, Enterprise Guide. Those are all quantitative analysis software. Uh, R is one of them. Uh, yes, please. Just installing prerequisites right now. Anyway, uh, there are a lot of um, tools like that out there. Uh, SPSS and Jump are GUI based, while um, and Enterprise Guide is GUI based as well. Yes, please. Yes, I accept installing prerequisite. Um, 
But then things like SAS and R are more command line based. Uh, SAS is a fairly old language, but um, it's fairly popular. Oh, okay. It looks like. Oh, okay. Server manager. I need to install .NET 3.5. Okay, it's in D. Let's add rules and feature after it gets done refreshing. Okay. Next, role based. Yes, that's the server. Next, .NET 3.5. Next, uh, sure if it has to restart. Uh, I think it's D. Sources. Yes, install, please. Ah. Okay, I'm just going to pause because it might take a while. Okay, .NET is done. So click on that. Close. And find um, server manager. Close. Okay. And what's this one? Okay, Visual Studio. That might take a while. Ay ay. Come on. Hmm, 2008. It's a little older, but oh well. Sure. Uh, nope. Okay, I'll pause this because Visual Studio is usually pretty good size. Okay, Visual Studio install is finished. Yeah, that's the last one. Next, sure, I accept. Nah, yeah, sure. I kind of like to keep the C drive clean, but that's okay. Finished. All right. Prerequisite is done. So we're now installing the actual R server. I accept. Next. Install config. Sure. Um, I like to put it in E drive. Okay, it's installed while well, extracting right now. <coughs> Come on. Running on SSD rights because it should be much faster than this, but oh well. This will take up to 20 minutes. Okay, that's too long. I guess I'll pause the video. Okay, it was much faster than I thought. Okay, finish. Let's see if it actually installed. Well, we already tested that, at least. Yeah, plus one. Yep, it works. Let's run Microsoft R server. Where is it? All right. Okay, I don't know what that is. It looks like the install location might be a little messed up. I'm gonna have to change that eProgram. Yeah, it should be eProgram files. <laughs> I don't know where the configuration file is. I'll have to look. Uh, oh well, let's see if it's actually running. It should be the actual software. Oh, is a config file? Hmm? 
Okay. Well, I guess that's the ID. Let's see how it's, if it's working. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Thank you for watching.